So we've made it. We've made it to the Alamo. We're here. We've just crossed the street. First thing I see is this huge statue. I've never been here, you guys, so this is totally new to me. So if it's sporadic and random and who knows what's going on, you know what? So be it. But this is where we're at. We gotta find out about this thing here. This is totally cool. So we're coming in from the other side because there's a little walkway up here to this statue. This thing's crazy. It's crazy huge. Yeah, I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit on some of this. Look at this dude. Look at this dude right here. This monument is so cool. Check it out. So this is the old school church. This is the Alamo church right here. This is probably the most iconic, I think, picture of the Alamo. This is what everyone thinks of when they think of the Alamo. They see this right here. This is what I think of anyway, because this is all over all the tourist brochures and everything like that. I can't wait to get in there and see what's going on. So they ask you not to uh, videotape inside the church. So sorry guys, you guys don't have to come to the Alamo to see the inside of the church. It's pretty cool in there, but now we're going to check out the properties on the outside here. And no attraction would not be complete without the Alamo gift shop. Oh, look at that. I love how that looks right there. All right, we are coming. We're in the Alamo. We are in the middle of the Alamo. Look at these big giant, oh, those are big suckers right there. Look at those guys. Look at, this thing goes all the way around the inside the Alamo. It's like a little moat. It goes from there, all the way. Yeah, they're huge, all the way over here. Becky, this thing that goes around this whole thing. Look at the size of those suckers. They're the koi fish. I don't know what they are, but they're huge. No, I'm just kidding, they're koi fish, but they're huge. Hey, keep off the grass. Did you hear me? Stay off the grass. You too, miss. Stay off the grass. This is a whole place right here. Texas Volunteers Wanted. Well, we're not going to be here long enough to volunteer, so sorry. Living History Encampment. Look at these guys. This guy's straight from the Alamo. Look at him. Are you sick? This is the doctor. She's ill in the head. I'm, I'm sick. I got yeah. Alzheimer's. What do you do? <laughs> I can't remember what to do for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, is anybody here married? Yeah. Married? Yeah. Then you must have a headache at some point. Yes. <laughs> Answer that carefully, young man. Yeah. Not very often. And for reasons we cannot fathom at all. Yes. I have just the thing for you for your headaches. It's my old friend, Mr. Herudo Medicinalis. You know him as the common European. Come on, get a big one. European medical leech. Uh. So, what are you going to do with that? You know, pop two in your mouth and let them dissolve slowly. Just kidding. Uh. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's gross. Your ear. <laughs> are you going to maybe put it on the top of the forehead? Uh. You're going to suck your blood for about 20 minutes or so. After that, it will drop off naturally. You'll continue to bleed for about 10 hours. Your headache should be gone. Just think, you should be gone. Next time you have a headache, you think of the treatment, your headache will mysteriously disappear. Yeah. So, Josh, you've been shot, but fortunately, it's somewhere, well, let's say, just under the knee, so we've got a good chance of saving your life. We are not barbarians here. We will not let Josh walk around with a hole in his head. Here. That would be uncivilized, and I am an English. So, this is a Spanish silver dollar, an eight real piece. We will hammer this flat, we will put four holes in, and we will screw it over the hole in Josh's head. Then take the flesh, put it over, you will have a scar, but look on the bright side. He's alive, and now he's worth at least a dollar. I like that guy. Yeah, interesting on what they used to do back then. I think I'd almost rather die than survive that, because that seems like torture. Did you hear what he was Like, we're going to heal you. In the process, you, know you are going to, to be in extreme pain. Yeah. Oh. oh man, they got beautiful fountain. Look at the what look how clear it is. It's so nice. Just a panoramic shot of the back of the Alamo here.
crazy, I was walking, I didn't even realize, until Norman pointed out, this tree comes right over the top of your head. Yeah, it says, watch your head. I guess so. Look at this. Here I go. Here we go. Hey, that's how high I am. But I guess it's a wishing well, because if you look down below, there's money. Focus, focus, focus. There it is. Okay, well that's it for the Alamo for us because they don't let you do a lot of stuff inside. Like you you can't videotape inside the museum and stuff, which is totally cool, totally respectful of that. But uh, you got some garden pics and stuff like that, which is really cool. But um, you, it, it just, it tells you the whole story of what really happened and what went on. And a lot of people I think don't realize what the Alamo is really about, what went on, but uh, look it up. Google it, go on the internet. I'm not gonna tell you the whole story right here, but it's really cool. Ooh, man, it is windy out here at the Riverwalk today, but we're at the San Antonio Riverwalk right now with the old Becky Boo and her mama. We're gonna head down there and see what the Riverwalk has to offer. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of beautiful scenery, picturesque places to take pictures. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm sure we're gonna eat too. Oh, we are here at the Riverwalk. We're headed down, you gotta go down to get there. Need an elevator to get down there. Okay, here we go. I love these like old school looking hotels and stuff. These are totally cool. Hey, come right here, you're gonna fall off. She, yeah. She's gonna fall. Your daughter's gonna fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Push her in. Push her in. Push her. No, push her. Push her in. Okay, you guys. Look at this cool bridge. I'm digging this right here on Navarro Street. They got this old school bridge with the metal frame on the other side. But then you look at the beams underneath, and it's like crazy, like these beams right here. Man, it's a lot of beams to support that traffic. Yeah, sometimes this area gets really hot and humid, but we got this nice little breeze going. It's a little overcast. But one of the cool things about the Riverwalk right now that I'm seeing is that. You know, the restaurants are on the right, but they got tables set up on the left, so that way you can be right on the river when you're eating your food and stuff. That's cool. I'm not joking, like, you can fall right into this deep, deep river. I hear it's like 50 feet in some places. You know, 50 feet deep, that's just crazy. No, I'm just kidding you guys, it's probably only like four or five feet deep. But look at this, cool, look at this. Like, we're walking on this whole, it's like a bridge, it's on both sides of me. Tripping out right now. We don't got this. This is cool. And they got all these bridges over here. There's like bridges so you can cross from one side to the other in case you see something you like on the other side. We're on the boat, you guys. We've made it. We're at the river walk. We made it on the boat. Check this out. That's right, guys. We are officially tourists. Well, I guess we technically are. Except for her, she's from Navasota, Texas. She's not a tourist like us. Oh no, I'm just a regular. Now I'm senior citizen, so you guys yeah. discount. Sweet. This is also a narrated tour. That means all the way through speaking pretty much the whole time. Seating for up to 800. On the right hand side is the stage. Let's take a look at the back of the stage. We're going to see five bronze bells. Those bells, they represent the five founding missions here in San Antonio, Texas. Check out that middle bell. It's bigger than the rest of them, right? It also has some writing across it. I know that writing is kind of small, but I also know what it says. It says, in memory of Robert H. H. Huckman. He was an architect. He was 27 years old, but he missed the design of this entire riverwalk here in San Antonio.
Who are you saying hi to? You. Oh, she's saying hi to me. It's my baby. I'm her baby. <laughs> well, we picked a place to eat. It is called the uh, Casa Rio. It is one of the oldest restaurants on the uh, Riverwalk here in San Antonio. But uh, I'm going to get some basic enchiladas. I don't know what she's going to get, but they're getting margaritas. I'm getting a Coke because I'm all beered out, man. Everywhere I go, everyone wants to get me drunk and give me lots of beer. And my mama-in-law said, poor child, everyone wants to give you free beer. Yeah, it's just customary. You can't be in Texas without a beer. I guess not, but tonight I'm going to drink some soda and recoup a little bit for tomorrow. Dude, these guys are just waiting for me to finish my food so they can eat my leftovers. What is this thing? Why is this here? It looks like a big ribbon coming from the skies. What is this? Any ideas, Becky? It's a piece of art. Just a piece of art? Okay, here's a piece of art. Oi, we just figured it out. This is called the Torch of Friendship. See, there it is. There it is. Look at these guys. We might come here tomorrow. What do you think they are? Uh, Indians. What? What kind of Indians? Does it well, say? Cherokees and, and uh, Cherokees. Is it? Yeah. They got cool bowls. Standing at the steps of one of the oldest libraries out there. Look at this thing. It's crazy. Easy, buddy, easy. He's got you already, calm down. Dude, you guys have to check out this building. Check this out. What the heck, that's so awesome. Uh, all I can tell you guys is that if uh, you guys come to the River Rock, make sure you get some rest because when they call it the River Rock, I mean, you're gonna be doing some walking, that's for sure. I mean, we even took the boat tour. I'm so tired right now. We ate. We, we haven't even walked the whole thing yet. It's crazy. But make sure you bring your walking shoes because you're going to be walking everywhere. 